What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Yeah, we're still in our Barbie style rooms because I couldn't wait to show you what I found. I was going through some boxes and found another star doll head. Then I found the body, which I kind of don't need. So why am I putting the head back on the body? I don't know. It's just something that I do because we are totally going to put her on a made to move body because these dolls only have three points of articulation at the head and at the shoulders. They come with sculpted and painted undergarments. They were created by Mattel years ago and based on an online fashion game. This made to move Barbie seems like a decent match, which means prepare the hot water. I place the doll in a plastic bag, then into a cup of hot water until the head is soft enough that I can easily be removed. Then let's add the star doll head. I gave her a quick curl with a low temp curling iron while the hair was damp. Warning, curling your doll's hair with a curling iron can possibly burn it out. Do not attempt without understanding the risk. You have been warned. So here is our made to move star doll. I think she turned out okay. I'm not a stylist and I think her hair is blocking her face a little too much, but overall, not too bad. I am finding that the smart doll head is a little tight on the made to move body, but it does work. And now we have a model for today. We're gonna start off by answering a few questions from previous videos. Can we use the pencil skirts from Elite Doll World's Etsy shop as a dress? Yes, and the listing does say pencil skirt slash dress. Can they fit a curvy? Yes, yes they can. Now let's put on something cozy. This is also from Elite Doll World and cuddle up on our DIY $5 sofa from a previous video and read a mini book. Hmm, but it doesn't open. In the comments, some of you wanted a book that was somewhere in between a book with a lot of pages and a book with no pages. And I saw requests for more Lucy Score inspired books. So I made a new free printable that will be available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com with three popular inspired books and some faux pages. Just like before, we cut it out. We have the cover, the paperboard template, the foam template, and the faux pages. Take recycled paperboard, glue on the paperboard template, cut them out, fold the cover on the lines, glue the paperboard between the folds, fold over and glue down the tabs, glue the foam template onto a scrap of foam board, cut it out. Now let's glue it into the cover, but this time we're only gonna glue it onto the back and the side. I really hope this works because this is my first time testing it. Once the glue has dried, the front cover should be able to open. Take the faux pages and fold on the line, then glue them into the book. You really want to get it into that back corner so that it doesn't bubble when we close it. But now when we open it, we have words, giving us the look without as much of the work. Now let's compare. The original book design does lay flatter since both sides of the cover is glued down, but being able to open the book does add another level of fun. I changed the book design slightly as well as the spine. I will leave both editions on the blog so you can decide which one is more to your liking. So now we have things we never made, things we hide from other collectors, and things we left on the shelf to add to our doll libraries. But Toya, what about bookmarks? Because Mini Brands Books has bookmarks. Bookmarks are pretty simple. I would make them the same way I make human sized bookmarks using doll packaging. I have these little vintage Barbie pictures that came on some Barbie keychain packaging. Just cut a small rectangle around them to make miniature vintage Barbie bookmarks. We can also cut out some newer ones for a little variety. 
then place them in our miniature books so the dolls always know where they left off. I love how our little head is poking out the top. On my books, I cut them out so that when they're in the book, <laughs> it looks like a little doll peeking out. You know what? She could totally use some cozy footwear, like some UGG inspired slippers. Let's see if we can make them with some felt. I paid 25 cents for one sheet. I bought a quarter of a yard of plush fleece. At $6 a yard, I ended up paying $1.44. Then some craft foam, which can be around 99 cents a sheet. So that's about $2.68 in materials, not including thread and tax. To make our shoes, we need a pattern which we don't have, so we have to make one. I trace the bottom of a doll shoe, make a few adjustments. I drew an inside line because, you know, as we keep tracing things, they gradually get larger and larger. I glued it onto recycled paperboard and now we're cutting it out. Now we just need to sketch the top of the shoe and cut it out. Place it on the felt and cut them out. I cut two for the top of the shoe and then one for the bottom. I also cut a small piece of craft foam. Before we add the fleece, let's just put this together to see if it works. I have some thread. I tried to match the colors, thread a needle. I take the two pieces for the top of the shoe and we're gonna stack them on top of each other. Then sew along the curve. I am keeping my stitches short and close together and using my fingers as a guide and trying not to poke myself. Once I get to the end, I open it up, then match the sides onto the bottom, then sew along that edge. And I'm doing a back stitch where I enter the felt a little bit before the previous stitch, then pull the needle through and go back in right at that previous stitch and pull the thread, giving us stitches that look really close together. After attaching the side, I continue stitching around the heel until I get to the other side, and then I can begin stitching that side down. Everything has been sewn together, so let's glue the craft foam onto the bottom to give us an idea of what the pattern looks like. Let's place it on our doll's foot and it does fit. However, I wouldn't mind a little more room just to make sure it can fit other dolls like Curvy's and I do plan on adding some fluffy fleece to it. So let's increase the pattern. Here is attempt number two. Let's cut everything out just like before and sew it together to make the main part of the shoe. Now we can just glue on the craft foam and I'm using hot glue. I'm using a little tool from the dollar store to make sure it all gets pressed down. Let's use our first pattern to make an insert for the shoe. I placed it on the fleece and I carefully cut around it. I place it in the shoe and glue it down. And this is the little tool that I'm using. It's $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. However, you could just use an old mechanical pencil as well or the end of a paintbrush. And if you don't wish to use hot glue, a little bit of tacky glue could work as well. And I just trim it up a little. Let's make sure the doll can still fit the shoe. And yeah, that looks good. Cut a thin strip of fleece this is probably a little more than a fourth of an inch wide and I carefully glue it going across the top. I use my tiny scissors to trim it up. Make two to make doll sized UGG inspired slippers. And we can add more layers of craft foam to the bottom if we want to make platforms. And now our dolls can be super cozy, cuddled up on a comfy couch reading a good book while keeping those plastic toesies nice and warm. And we just gave an old doll a new life by adding this star doll to the shelf. Say hello to Carrie. Hi Carrie, thank you for joining us while we made some UGG inspired slippers. Like, comment, 
share and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff the frog vlog and bella of my froggy stuff and we will see you next time <laughs>